good morning and welcome to another episode of Behind the Closed Doors. And today, it's gonna be a special day because finally, after two years, we're probably gonna get fiber. And we got a really cool laptop coming in today, the Microsoft Service Book Pro 2. But first, we have to bring back the car for a little checkup. Okay, dropped off the car, now back to the studio for a test shoot for a new Glamour model. So Enuik is bringing me home, could have got a loaner car, but this is way easier. Hello. As I told you, after two years today, we're probably gonna get fiber. Why do I say probably? Well, we still don't have the modem in, but they promised us this on Friday, and it's now Monday. Sorry, it's now actually Tuesday. So let's hope that it really comes in. And the other thing is, this is the fiber. So it's still outside, and they still have to get it inside the studio. So yeah, in our house, it's already in the, well, in the cupboard so let's hope that they actually will do our house first so at least we have on one location fiber okay let's start today so first up test shoot with the glamour model of course you want to know what is the difference between a glamour model and a fashion model for me personally well, I'm mostly a fashion shooter. I love working with dresses, extreme styling, makeup, that kind of stuff. But sometimes glamour can also be a real challenge. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, so what is glamour? Now ask 10 photographers about glamour and you get 10 different answers. Like the queen with big dresses and hair, like Playboy, like Marilyn Monroe, like Greta Garbo, like George Harrell, black and white, stark images, even hardcore can be labeled as glamour. For me, glamour is a little bit different. My personal favorite glamour model would actually be a fashion model that also does glamour. Now for me glamour is always a little bit naughty. So it shouldn't be totally nude or topless or whatever. It can be lingerie, it can even be in a dress shirt. But it has to be a little bit on the naughty side. Now one time I heard this great great um, example of glamour. Now you have this bride and a groom on a motorbike and they drive away. Now, if the bride looks over her shoulder back into the camera, is that glamour? No. But if she gives you just a blink of the eye and just lifts up her skirt so you see her stockings, now that's for me glamour because it's a little bit naughty. So for the model today is Yoko. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run through some different setups. And we want to see how she interacts with the camera because I don't want a model that's over the top sexy because again I'm a fashion photographer and I do these workshops purely because a lot of people ask me about glamour photography and in all honesty I love glamour photography so we don't want it over the top sexy we don't want it under sexy so in other words we don't want it to be a fashion shoot in lingerie so it's very difficult for me to find those models because in all honesty a real glamour model can be for me a little bit over the top and a real fashion model often doesn't do glamour. Now, by the way, this is a tip for your models out there. If you only do fashion photography up until now, and you think, hey, maybe glamour is something for me, just take note of one very simple thing. If you do a lot of TFP shoots and some commercial work, remember that if you only do fashion and you do glamour once or twice, a lot of photographers will only ask you for glamour. 
And just beware of that, because I don't know how that works in the brain of some photographers. They see a model in lingerie and they go like, oh, I want to shoot her in lingerie. So if you have a really good going TFP or career in fashion, I wouldn't advise you to do glamour because, well, you get labeled. And again, I think it's wrong, but hey, it's how reality works. So today, yoga, and we're going to do a one hour test setup. And that's going to be something in a chair against backdrops. And we just want to see how I interact with the model. Because if she's nervous in front of me, in a workshop area, of course, there are five or six people. So that's even worse. So that's first up for today. We're not going to film a lot of that because I want to keep the vlogs 100% clean because YouTube already demonetizes everything I put online. It's just ridiculous. If anybody else out there has this problem, it's frustrating. You put a video out, you put time and effort in that video. I know there are no bad words in there. There's nothing in there that can actually shame or whatever do to YouTube. And every single video gets demonetized. And then we go into an appeal and within 24 hours it's monetized again. So it's frustrating as heck because well, we already have a tight schedule and then doing this stuff. Well, anyway, if you have that problem too, just leave comments below and let's see how many people have the same problem. Okay, so let me see. Half an hour before Yoke is here. And we hope of course today that the Microsoft comes in and our fiber. So let's start. Hey, that was the test shoot with Joker, and she did very, very well. So let's see some of the results. And by the way, I just got a phone call from the garage. I can pick up my ca my my car. They calibrated the radar, and everything works fine again. Just before we would pick up the car, somebody at the front door, and they're gonna now finish our fiber. The only problem, no modem. Okay, that's one step closer. Still no modem. Oh, they're dragging it out, but hey, at least we now have a working fiber connection. When the modem is there, it's connecting and surfing. So in between, I have time to retouch the shots from Yoke and of course wait for the Microsoft Service Book 2, the 15 inch. Exciting day. Okay, so they're now also working in our studio to get the fiber in. So let's hope that the modems will arrive. But something else did arrive today. And that's the Microsoft Surface 15 inch. So I'm gonna unpack this. And as you know, I hate unboxing videos. So I'm just gonna show you how the box looks. And then I'm gonna give you my first impressions because tonight the vlog will be edited on the Surface Book Pro 2 whatever the name is, but the 15 inch service book. Okay, so here we have the service book and this is something really cool that I missed about the Dell. You can actually, and this is a very slippery table, but you can actually open it now with one hand. It's just a small thing, but I really like that. Okay, that was a really, really fast review. It's a great laptop, but it's not the right one. This is the 13 inch, so that's a 1050 card. And we really wanted to test the 15 inch with the 1060 card because of video editing. So this one is gonna be returned to Microsoft. And then we hope very soon to have the 15 inch. Oh, and it's still working on the fiber and still no modems. I 
little no modem, but we're gonna pick up our car and well, it's raining again. In time we cease Finally happened, we got the modems. So now installing everything and then finally we can upload the vlog faster for you guys. But also the live streams will be way better of course. After two years we can finally say we have fiber. Not too fast by the way, we still have to test it but well, let me put it this way. Let's hope it works. home they recalibrated the radar because we had some slight problems with it and it, it works again so now installing the modem for our internet okay I connected both buildings so we have now fiber in our house and fiber in the studio let's see how fast our internet is we did a 100 100 subscription and this is actually via Wi-Fi And Wi-Fi, of course, is more limited because we already did a test by cable. And then we are at 110 up and 115 down. So that's actually more than they advertise with. So we're very satisfied. And this is a total different situation from our previous 12 down and 0.6 up. So we're very, very happy with this. If you've been following this vlog, you know that we've been waiting for two years for this. We had a ter terrible, terrible internet speed. We had to do everything via 4G's and modems and our phones. So this is a total change for us. So we're going to use way more of this internet to get you guys more material like live streams. So that was it for today. We had a really busy day. And if you like what we do, subscribe to our channel, leave comments below, smash that like button because we really like that. And of course, see you again next time. And next time actually will be tomorrow because tomorrow we have a workshop with Lois. Now today was all good news except for one thing. Remember that Microsoft book? Well, we have to wait till April to test the 15 inch. I was really looking forward to that because that would be the replacement for my Dell. But the 15 inch in the Netherlands is only available in April. So you guys have to wait for a long time to see a review for that one. That's a shame.